Today we're going to be talking about what I consider to be my number one day trading setup in the 12 candle window. Stay tuned traders, we'll be right back. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. It's Thursday, it's been a, a very good week in the market so far. British pound crosses 50 pips in more than one session and 100 and plus pips in a couple of the US sessions. So hopefully you guys have been capturing some of those trades. Today I'm going to talk about what is primarily my main trading setup in the 12 candle window and one of my favorite setups. Very simple, very powerful and very, very specific for each session. It applies across every session, Asia, London and New York and we'll review our simple strategy again with our 12 candle 50 pips a day system. So we talk about structure, we talk about the big picture, the highs and lows, rectangles, 100 pip boxes, head and shoulders, three push patterns, reverse head and shoulders, double tops. Most of those all coincide around major round number levels and recently we've seen the pairs stabilize a bit more around the quarter levels and I'm going to talk about that today. But I talked in the last couple videos about that first hour in the majority of cases setting a trap and one of my favorite setups is what I call the one two three and it's very very specific to the to the hour before the equity markets open so again just to revisit high of the day low of the day we work on the top and the bottom of those levels how the market trades at those levels will dictate if we are looking for a trend trade or a possibly a reversal trade. But again, specifically in that 12 candle window, I am going to reinforce critically to you the importance of timings. I only trade this three hour window and most specifically really only that middle hour based on how this first hour sets up. The pre-market is from 8 to 9 p.m. New York Eastern Standard Time for Asia, 2 to 3 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time, and then 8 to 9 a.m. New York Eastern Standard Time. That is the hour where I will specifically just watch. There are some variations to this, but today we're talking about the very basic 1-2-3 setup that happens almost every single session on at least one of the pairs. So, High of the day and low of the day. The market is contained inside of those levels. Even if it's moved all over, we redraw our highs and lows within the last four to five hours. What I look for in that hour before the markets open is a very specific pattern. If I'm looking for a break to the high, I look for three bull candles, but they need to close in the last 45 minutes of this hour. Now the other variation is that we could get one, two, three with the last candle closing as the first candle of the market equity opening hour. So again, three bull candles very specifically at this time window. The only other variation is if it was to be one, two, three and the, the last candle was the first 15 minutes of the new hour. The same thing, and it has to break a high of the day or be at the high of the day when it goes one, two, three. It's a stop hunt and the most important part of that is that it occurs just before the equity market opens and the same applies for the downward stop hunt. We want to be violating or hitting stops at the extreme just prior to the market opening and it's very specific to that five 15 minute blocks as the market equity times open. Again, very specific to that time. The other question I want you to ask yourself, when the market is about to open, are you up high or down low? So some people are going to ask me, how do you know if you're at the high of the day? Well, if, if you're not at the high, you're either inside or you're down at the low. So Asia, when it starts trading, will typically set a high and set a low. So if the equity times at 8 to 9 p.m. New York Eastern Standard Time, if by the time that market opens, it's down here, we're at the low of the day. 
If you haven't seen a 1, 2, 3, you might see it in the next hour going the other way. But what we're looking at specifically right here is the 1, 2, 3 just prior to the market opening. The second variation of that is that that 1, 2, 3 happens in the first hour of the market opening. So you could have a different pattern and then all of a sudden we could have a, a breakdown and then a 1, 2, 3 in either one of these windows. But when we get it just prior to the market opening, in a large majority of the cases we will get a, a straight downward candle which is an open drive on the market open. So if you think about it logically, they've taken the market up and hit stops on traders that were short but it's also triggered breakout orders for people who, who perceive that the market is taking off and they're getting in early and when the market opens it shifts fast to trap traders up top and it will move 40 to 50 pips a lot of times very quickly and we're going to talk about another way to determine that measurement as well so one of the ways to know the distance possibly that the opening candle may move towards is the most recent low of the day. So we may have had a swing come down prior to this move up. So we can measure this from this point to where this candle closes and it might be 25 pips. The low of the day may be 50 pips away or more. But we want to measure from the most recent low to where that candle closes and we can measure this once, twice, as a possible profit target for the short trade and vice versa for the long trade. Traders can either trade the break of this candle or the close of this candle if it closes as an engulfment candle. Stop goes above the high of the day. It's very specific though that this applies at the opening of the markets, whether the market goes one, two, three down and shifts. Again, traders can put their stop below there. They can position themselves at the close of that candle, whatever they want. Now, some people have asked me, what do you mean by fighting for a better price? Well, if there's a gap there, you can always limit order the numbers or the gap space or get filled better than the spread, whatever you want, something better than the closing price between the gap of that breakout candle at the low of that pre-market hour or the numbers if it's at numbers it could be at, it could be at 50 it could be at double zeros it could be at 75 or 25 typically the stop hunts will be 25 pips so if you come up to this level you might notice it might go through the level but you might be at a quarter level it might be at 75 it could be at 25 it might be at round numbers it doesn't matter now today we're just specifically talking about the basic setup. We're not going to talk about the bigger picture, about the three sessions pushing into a high or into a low. I'm just talking about very specifically the pre-market hours for each session and a very specific pattern that closes on a 1, 2, 3 at the end of that hour. And the only other variation to that is we get a 1, 2, 3 with the, with the last candle closing as the first candle of the equity opening hour. One, two, three, same thing applies. This, this trade setup shows up every single session. And again, that market, you can measure the distance from where that move started and multiply it times two or to the high of the day, low of the day distance to get an idea the distance that where that chart, that trade should move towards. You can move your stop to break even once that market has crossed the halfway point. If it hasn't moved in four candles in one hour, I will usually scratch the trade. Take a loss, go to break even, whatever, but I will usually expect to see some degree of profit in the first four candles that this chart moves. We're going to look at some specific examples today on the charts, but again, when the market opens, are you up high or are you down low? When New York opens, is it up high or is it down low? When London opens, is it opening higher than the up? Did they break out to the top to open up high or did they break down low and drag traders down low to open up low for a stop hunt back up? Now just because the market may move lower, again, that doesn't mean 
that it's going to go up. We need to see this very specific pattern. Stop hunting the low of the day or the high of the day, not just a breakout. This is a specific stop hunt that goes one, two, three, hitting stops at the opening of the market session. The market then reverses. It's a one bar stop. You can measure that move to the other side of the chart or two times from where the anchor point high and low are for a measured move of two times that distance. One bar stop and if that trade has not moved within one hour, I will cut the trade. We'll look at some specific examples. Again, 50 pips, it's in every session traders and sometimes 100 or more. Stay disciplined, stay focused, study this, don't trade it, study it, learn from it. You'll see at least one of these every single session. Have a great trading day and may the markets go with you. Good day trader, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Continuing our discussion on the one, two, three, what I consider to be one of my favorite trading setups and probably my, my go-to strategy for almost every session is the first thing I look for. We talked about the first hour often being the trap and when the market is in consolidation, lows and highs, and we get an initial burst in that first 15 minutes to half an hour of that pre-market hour. And what I look for is three bull candles or bear candles that specifically target the highs or the lows and initiate a stop hunt. The importance of this is that it's primarily in a market that's in a sideways consolidation, but that triggers a lot of breakout orders. It gets traders on shorter time frames chasing the trend. Three big bursts over the course of 45 minutes. They feel like they're missing out. The market moves 50, 25, 50 pips or more. They, by the time it gets up top, they get in the trade or maybe somewhere in the middle, they get in the trade. The importance of this is, as I mentioned in the first half, about the timings. This market needs to hit its third burst on either the last candle of the hour or the first candle of the second hour of the market open. The purpose is that ideally, if you think about it in simple terms, is that the market triggers entries, hits stops, gets people chasing the move, but then it opens the market up high. London opens up high and immediately comes back to trap traders who are caught up high, but also stop hunt traders who are off the low or hitting stops on traders who have gotten in somewhere in the middle. And you're looking at, you know, usually an, an anchor point measurement from the beginning of the move to the high as your target. So an easy way to estimate that is to take a measurement when you've got, you know, your second burst and you're up starting to make your third burst, you can measure the distance and hypothesize that this market is going to stop hunt to a quarter level. And in this particular case, we went through the middle numbers and hit the next quarter level at the end of the hour, where I will normally initiate a trade either on the break of that candle, and in some cases on a shorter time frame, on the opening of the market for that move back down. And as you can see, you've got a reasonably tight stop. And even if you're trading this with a trend, it's a one bar stop. So this is an example of a one, two, three, stop hunting the high at the London Open. And again, one, two, three, the last three candles of the hour. And just to show you again, just heading into the 12 candle window of the US session, we had a one, two, three, four, which is basically a one, two, three off of the lower stop hunt into the pre-market. Not quite the same setup. Again, the timings for me are one, two, three into the market open. Here's another example. The market came down one, two, three into the London Open and went sideways. So they've stop hunted back into the trend for a consolidation. And then traders continuing to trend trade this into the high where we get the stop hunt. So this is a stop hunt on traders who are possibly long in the Asian session. They stop hunt low, one, two, three down, stop hunt low. And then London opens and they go one, two, three to the high inside bar for the fast move down. And again, once they've got this volume trap, bang, they shift the market very quickly. One, two, three. So 
not this not the first hour this is the London hour so again an example of how this market came down one two three into the trend and the trend resumed trend traders followed this trade one two three to the high inside bar fast move back down great example again of a consolidation we hit the 12 candle window and big burst right off the bat and then a one two three stop hunting the high of this session stop hunting traders from the u.s session the night before before pulling back this market actually went into consolidation before issuing a pin one last hit to the traders who got the trade right pin hammer for the move back down now this trade uh, was approximately 35 to 40 pips depending on where you got filled but it's more about the structure and how this works again low of the day consolidation back inside the asian range and a one two three to the high london open pin hammer for the move down and again this market failed to go any lower but then again look in the u.s session one two three inside bar 100 pips straight down trapping volume up high one push two push three pushes and a one two three on the third push into the open of the u.s session again study this pattern one two three fourth candle inside bar the market opens straight down these are golden setups that show up all the time An example of a trend trade markets moving down falling further all of a sudden we get a one two three into the u.s open against the trend so that you, you'll notice that heading into the 12 candle window we had a one two three down but again we're in a we're in a strongly moving downward market and we get a one two three back into the u.s open a one bar stop they put heat on the traders again who got it right with the pin hammer this is your golden you know uh, insurance policy once they print this candle other traders are going to enter the market another pin hammer take it down further before it exhausts itself a 50 to 100 pips down below again one two three key this first hour prior to the market open this is an example of when we had one two in the last two candles and then three was the first candle of the second hour at the market open very important gain another example consolidated market uh, coming out of asia one push two pushes and then a one two three on the third push into the london open again high of the day ask yourself this question are we up high or are we down low well obviously we're up high we get a one two three london opens shifts down we get the pin hammer sideways another little pin hammer 50 pips and again i've had a lot of people asking about three push patterns just looking at asia one more time one push two pushes three pushes and a one two three and then we come out of the first three hours of London one push two push and a one two three to the high again stop hunting the high of the day at the US open one two three first candle of the US market hits the high reverses on the second candle and drops 75 pips okay study these patterns but it's timings traders it's all about the timings consolidated market coming out of asia after they drop it down almost 100 pips they go sideways one push two pushes one two three on the third push into the first hour of the pre-market and then london open pin bar bear candle pin hammer 100 pips just falls all the rest of the session again one two three very powerful traders very powerful study these patterns this will keep you like this one trade setup alone if you just look for the one two three stop hunt will keep you out of a lot of garbage setups that are designed to trap traders before they shift the market this is an ideal setup it happens all the time almost in every session at least once if it doesn't happen in one it's going to happen in the next one one two three in that first hour traders hit the stops into the market open ask yourself are you up high or down low one bar stop 50 pips 
40 to 50. If it's U.S. and you're up high and you've had three sessions of three pushes, it could be 150. But stay disciplined. Study these charts. Look for the one, two, three into the market open. This one trade setup alone can change your trading results. Have a great trading session and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.